Okay, this is old camel. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking about... Uh, about the fallacy <laughs> that, uh, that you can only show 3D on certain devices. Well, this week... Um, was it the people over at, at ESPN and other places that basically are, have these so-called 3D networks which you can never find 3D programming on a course um, uh, basically said well the problem is is that it's, it's lost interest in the United States and there's only 2 million 3D enabled they're calling devices which device if they don't say television and when they say the word devices that word means cell phones it Ooh. means it means your uh, your tablets. It means your computers. It means anything. It means your videotape machines. That's what they mean by device. If they don't say television set exactly, they mean anything. But uh, we're, we're going to tell you. Um, the, not, okay, we went to a television. We went to actually went to a cable meeting a couple of years ago, and they one mm -hmm. of the people basically as old as I am. I worked in 3D for God 60 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm really old. But um, he said, but isn't it true that any television set made since the dawn of time will show three? And he said, it will today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what are they doing to the television sets out there? They're making them 3D TVs. So guess what that means? It means they're three. you can see 3D TV. You can see the 3D on your set, but they have rigged it. So the only 3D you can see is the 3D that their glasses are designed for. Yes. And the biggest challenge with that is then you have to buy the glasses specifically for that television set. There are some that, I know Monster was experimenting with universal 3D glasses. Yeah. And a lot, but a lot of them are like, if you have a Sony set, you need Sony 3D glasses, or Panasonic, Panasonic, yeah. Toshiba, Toshiba, LG, LG. Um, and then there's passive versus... Uh, active. Active. The active glasses were the ones... Active glasses is what destroyed the, the desire for 3D. Because... Uh, what they couldn't get it through their head was the, the Harvey effect. And they said, well, what's the Harvey effect? Well, the Harvey effect is you've got a television set and you've got two battling kids in the room. And uh, one of them, one, I want to watch this. And they said, Hi, okay, Harvey gives up. Harvey says, you know, here. And he tosses the remote control, had his little brother and little sister, and breaks it. And then the little brother and little sister said, Mommy, Harvey just broke the remote control. In it, you got four people averaging in a family in the United States, and um, two sets of glasses, and the glasses run $125. And guess what happens when the Harvey effect hits? You know, hey, I wanted to watch. I don't want to watch the thing. There's three people in the room. There's only two glasses. Harvey, okay. Harvey then tosses the glasses to little brother and sister, and then little brother. Mom, Harvey just broke those expensive glasses, and father's trying to kill Harvey. Uh -huh. That's the Harvey effect. They said the people that design the work for the engineers don't have children. Ah, which but, is one of the reasons why they had those glasses in there. Well, they come down in price. They used to be more like a hundred and fifty dollars a piece. Yeah. Then there's a hundred dollars, a hundred and twenty. They're still too bulk. <laughs> yeah, but with them. Okay, the the active glasses are a nightmare, folks. I mean. Uh, the passive was always the best, but they couldn't decide on what passive system to use. Everybody's got their own passive. Disney even has its own system. I mean, mm -hmm. we've had Disney glasses on, and and um, Disney glasses are god awful. I mean, they, even though they're, they're still got a battery in it, for plenty of things, no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, but they're the but the trick being though, that if you want to see that 3D is capable on anything that you. Uh, anything, go to a Blockbuster store if they still have Blockbuster stores in your area and ask them for an old 3D movie. Oh, an yes. old 3D movie. And if they have, oh, okay, here's a DVD. And they say, well, how am I going to play that that 50-year-old DVD, you know, 3D movie on my television? No, that, just put it on your tape recorder, put it on your DVD player, and it'll work. They said, but how? They tell me you have to have a 3D set. Well, no, you just have to have the glasses. Mm -hmm. Glasses is what makes the difference, folks, if you have the right glasses, because we actually have seen, uh, in the last three weeks, they have ran, we won't tell you the movie, but they've been running it late at night, <laughs> a, a, a big movie. They're, te they're testing it out to see how it works. They've ran a movie in 3D. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But we have the advantage of that. We saw it in 3D at the theater. We saw it in 3D at the theater. But it hasn't been released to 3D to television officially. Actually, we saw it in IMAX 3D yeah. as well as regular 3D. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we do do things like we that. We do do things, yeah, but we actually, we don't get them free. We pay for this stuff, folks. We, we, if we write a review on a movie, we pay to go see the movie because they don't give you free popcorn and drinks if you go with the press people. So. But, um, no, but we, because we get glasses from people that, you know, what? okay, they don't really give you glasses anymore to make you return them. But we, when, uh, in the early days, like, Say a year ago, <laughs> you could go to a movie, uh, go see, go to a, pr uh, a press event, and they give you the glasses. So, what we do is we just simply go to our collection of glasses and pick out a set of glasses that works with the thing. Well, but, and we've done enough that we have a total collection of glasses. We have one for everybody except Disney. Oh, do we? And that? IMAX, Disney. But we come close to the IMAX. We have we have bug glasses from Harry Potter that. Oh, yeah, I love those. Which basically come close. Uh, because um, it's the glasses, it is totally the glasses that allow you to do things because it is a signal. But you can, um, you know, to be honest, we do lots of 3D. We have 3D on our computers, we have 3D on our cell phones, we have 3D on our tablets. And because it's just a bloody signal. If you put, you know, if you put the glasses on, you can always see it. I mean, like... Um, uh, red cayenne, those things, basically that's the standardized form of 3D. Anybody can, it, this will, I think red, red cayenne will still run on a 3D set that's been skewed. But they say, well, you know, that's, that's basically an ancient form and nobody wants to watch it. Well, I'll give you a reason why 3D is dying in our country and surviving in China where they got like a zillion stations, like a hundred stations showing it. Why? Because they turn out product. The people don't care if it's BS, you know, like if you have to go tiptoe through the pasture, they don't care. They want to they want see to watch the stuff, and they don't want it converted. They want to see the stuff, and there, and uh, there's lots of 3D content out there. You just can't get it shown, mm -hmm. pure and simple. I mean, mm -hmm. we we do, I know, to be honest, we do 14, 15 hours of 3D a week, in which people virtually see nothing. Of it. <laughs> so, because they want it in 2D, so we have to down convert from 3D to 2D to get people to, to get it shown. But um, there's a lot of people out there. There is armor, armies of prosumer 3D cameras out there. Everybody's shooting in 3D. You can shoot in 3D. Uh, uh, they're basically selling good quality $200 3D cameras now. Mm -hmm. The only reason you're getting a $200 good quality high def 3D camera on a chip is because there's a market. That's right. And they said, well, how do those people see 3D on their set? Well, because if it's turned out in an anaglyph, they, are, they can see it in 3D on their set. That's mm -hmm. simple. And they, they provide you like with a, you know, paper glasses to look at the stuff. Or you go, um, I'll tell you something else, folks. There's a little secret on those glasses that you're getting. They, they buy them by like a thousand. What you do is you just roll back the cost. You roll back the cost of those glasses. Oh, no, back. you can't. Those are like industry secrets. Okay, I can't want to tell okay. you. Okay. But I, I'll let you know that, that... There's a lot of marketing costs. There's a lot of marketing costs, but they... Um, and, and, you know, the manufacturing costs are buying them in bulk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't cost as much as they're trying to make it out to. But um, it just irritates me that they're destroying their own cruddy market. You want to get people into it. It's just, okay, I come from an era before Not a Spaceship was born. Yeah, long before that. Uh, when the idea, we had people watching test patterns on television sets. When Howdy Doody or Milton Berle would come on, they'd go crazy because there was something other than a test pattern. Um, my father worked on... The Cisco Kid and uh, Duncan Ronaldo having the thing shot in color. Said, you know, my father had a color set. He had an RC. We had a color set in 1948. And the nation did not know from color. And my father would ask, well, why are you shooting these in color? Because he said, one day people will have color sets. Ah. Uh huh. And uh, but he still they were turned out, shown in black and white. They were in color. And people don't realize a lot of the Lone Ranger episodes were shot in color. A lot of television was shot in color. Which really looked weird because the Lone Ranger is actually wearing a bluish outfit. So, but um, we shot, uh, people were shooting in high def before they were high def. The, you know, did you have to get the material out there. If they don't care the quality, I mean, I mean, God, I mean, it would have filled time. We were running travelogue. People go, 
You know, I remember one a really bad series I really hated. I love the bell music. They, the bell, the, the bells, would, the bell family. They would go all over the world and they shoot these little travelogues, and the thing would be ding, 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 with the family doing the bells. I think they were Swiss, but um, and then you had Lowell Thomas and his travelogues, Bill Burr and his animals, Monon Perkins his animals. People did not care that the stuff cost twenty five cents to make. Mm-hmm. It was there. It was there. They had something to see. Yeah, and and that's it's, it's got to do the same thing with three D. If you, um, it's the old thing. If you build a better mousetrap, they will come. If you don't have the mousetrap, no one's going to come. So mm-hmm. uh, right now. I think was it uh, Direct TV is axed his 3D channel out entirely. I didn't even know they had one. They what? Had, well, well, you know they had been talking about doing it. Yeah. But they weren't really doing anything. Um, and uh, we have listened to the people that turn out 3D, like for the Sony people who we like. But the, the, this TV side is a total different. As Sony, mm-hmm. it's basically a conglomeration. If the people turning out the stuff for the Sony 3D channel had been there in 1948. They would have waited until the 1970s for Masterpiece Theater to be created before the Sony Channel ever came on the air. They're wanting perfection. Well, the people are demanding it. No, the people just want to see the product. Why do you think the, the horrible, they're making horror movies in 3D? Because the people will buy the tickets to see anything in 3D. Mm-hmm. It can't, it's the only thing the whole market this year, box office died except for 3D. I know. There's a reason why. That even though the majority of the 3D movies were shown in 2D, why the top nine out of the top ten movies are all 3D movies? Because it made the bulk of the money. Mm-hmm. Even though 60% of the movie may have 60% of the things shown in in 3D were in 2D. The, it was the, more of a blockbuster movie. There were more. There were blockbuster movies, all based on the 3D. It's why you know a good IMAX movie always wins the day. Also. It's because people want to see this stuff, and they want to experience. But the industry is refusing, and then it doesn't help when you have people that don't really. And you have people writing about the business that don't know the business. And I, I can tell you honestly, you know, when I was in college, way way back when, you know, let's try 1950s, mm-hmm. uh, way back, you know, um, I had a college teacher that had never held a job in his life, and that teacher yeah. ended up head of the department. <laughs> broadcasting department and had never held a job in his life and telling people what you needed to do to be successful. He never worked in the field. He'd read books. And um, they're telling you, the people upstairs at all of these companies are telling you, well, you can't do this because the sets aren't designed. It's because they, they don't know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. There's somebody that's read a book or they've, they've got a press release saying that 2% of the television sets in our nation are now 3D capable. And they're basically going for the release because they know they don't know what they're doing. Uh, we do know what we're doing because we're basically a large proponent of 3D broadcasting. Even though we don't actually show a lot of what we have in 3D, we're playing the um, the Duncan Ronaldo, um, the Cisco Kid Productions. Is that this there? Mm-hmm. There years, several years of 3D entertainment, 3D movies. 3D cooking, 3D interviews, all of the stuff in 3D. Everything is done in 3D. We just push the trigger and and, and release it. But I, I guess we can rant and rave and go on forever. But just remember, if they tell you that your set cannot show 3D on it, what do you tell the people? 3D is a broadcast signal, and any TV can be 3D. Yeah. Oh, except for... Television sets that have been... Uh, the system has been fixed so it can only show their signal. It's just you know, and that's they're killing their own market. You won't, you know, so but most of most of the sets out there are not being. Let's put it this way: the lower end sets are not being screwed with. Mm-hmm. And you you want to go, you want to rebuild the market in this country? Go buy a cheap ass television set, and you can watch 3D on that television set. So. <laughs> I guess until next time, this is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chick. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.moneybubbles.net on the net or go to our um, more commercial site, which is www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. Uh, and wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. <laughs>